Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Richard and I am the Bull Rider. And today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the oil pump from a pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo. So a little bit of backstory before we jump into it. And I was just about ready to get, put this motor back into my Lamborghini Gallardo. And I went to tighten the oil drain port on the bottom of the motor. And I've never done an oil change on this motor before, but it turns out the oil drain port was stripped. So I put in a special helicoil. But the problem with that was, is that there's some aluminum shavings left over from the oil drain pan that I had to get rid of somehow. And this means that I had to remove the oil pump. So you can remove the oil pump with the engine in the car, but today I'm gonna to show it to you with the engine out of the car to clear up any sort of confusion that you might have. And I'm also gonna show you one part that always fails on all these oil pumps and is probably seized on yours and really probably needs attention. So under here, you're gonna find two main ports. This one comes from the engine oil reservoir tank. Um, pull this away from the motor. I'm gonna remove it for clarity but you won't be able to remove it with the engine in the car. This one goes to the oil cooler hard line. And as you can see, it's just a hard line in the engine bay and you push it to the side and you'll have access to the oil pump. Next, we're gonna work on the shaft drive mechanisms on the oil pump. So coming from a gear mechanism on the oil pump itself, there is a shaft leading to the centrifugal water pump. And you're gonna find two spring clips. I removed them already on both sides of this shaft. So one right here, and then another spring clip goes right here. And then with those spring clips out of the way, you can pull this shaft back from the water pump housing, and that decouples the oil pump gear mechanism from the water pump. Next, we're gonna remove the coupler that feeds power to the oil pump itself, and then subsequently to the water pump. And you might ask, where the hell is it? And I'm gonna tell you that I had to angle grind it off in three locations. Um, it was totally seized on there, and it's gonna be seized on your car as well. So ideally, you'd have this sit in there and then you'd have another shaft coupler over the top that you can slide back towards the back of the motor and you'll have another circlip. It's not gonna happen and it's gonna be totally seized on. So just get your Dremel out and have a little bit of fun with that. If you have an earlier Gyrodo, this shaft coupler is gonna be totally destroyed and uh, you're gonna wanna replace it anyway. So either way, you're gonna have to replace it. So just order the parts before you do any of this work whatsoever. Next, we're gonna focus on three M6 bolts underneath the oil pump itself. There's one right here, one right here, and then to the right, there's another one right here. On the top of the oil pump, we have a T30 Torx right here, right here, right here, right here. So the last bolt is what I would call the bolt from hell. And my finger's right over the top of it, if you can see that. And that is right behind the oil pump, right behind the motor mount, everything right in the way. So we're gonna have lots of fun getting that out. And to do that, we're gonna have to remove the motor mount. So there's two 12 point triple stars on the bottom, and then two 12 point triple stars on the top. So to get at the motor mount fastener that's really hard to reach, I had to modify a 12 point triple star uh, socket. And these are a set that you can get at AutoZone or pretty much any auto parts store, cheap as hell. And uh, I have no regrets grinding this off. And then with this modified tool, we can put a spanner on the backside of this and then finally get this bolt out without having to take the exhaust manifolds off. I recommend supporting the motor with either an engine hoist, engine support bar, or shop crane if you have it on these two lifting points before you take the motor mount out. And with the motor mount out of the way, we're a little bit closer to accessing the fastener from hell. So what I use is one of these cheapo screwdriver socket extension set things, and then a T30 Torx right on the top. This one's really well organized as you can tell. I don't even wanna look at this one. And this shaft is thin enough to where I can get good coupling on the fastener from hell and I was able to get it free. So you might have something that's a little bit thinner and it might be even more effective. But I'm gonna take these fasteners out and then we can take the oil pump out. All right, now we can pull the oil pump out and it's on dowels. So just give it a little bit of a wiggle and then, oh, you can't get it with one hand, but that's okay. And I'm not gonna rebuild this, although you can sort of, kind of. You have to make your own O-rings that go inside of these uh, mating bodies, but it can be done. Typically you see oil leaking from these two shafts. So this is the shaft coming from the accessory drive and then this one drives the water pump. And thankfully the shaft leading to the water pump usually doesn't corrode. You can see how it decouples and then you have these two couplers that are spline drive. So what I recommend doing is cleaning all this off and then putting new grease on all of these couplers and then also getting new snap rings. And then on every oil change, I'm gonna pull this off and then re-grease this shaft so it never seizes again. And since I had to remove this pump to get the galleys, all I'm gonna be doing is replacing this shaft and then calling it good. So I got the new shaft and the new coupler, a couple snap rings, and then some O-rings. Um, I wanted to thank Jason Bertman for getting me these so quickly. I actually ordered these from a different vendor and um, the lead time on them was like over a month. And um, I can't thank you enough, Jason, for getting me these so quickly. He had them within like three days shipped to my house. So 
And uh, I even called the dealership and they wanted double the price of what Jason Burtman got me. So um, I can't be more happy. And if you need any parts from Jason Burtman, I'll put his info on the screen. I can't recommend him enough. He really saved the day. So thanks again, Jason. All right, let's put the new shaft in. And I also put a snap ring on there. So just lubricate it and then we can put this coupler on and then just leave it just like that. Then put new O-rings on the ports and I held both of these in with assembly lubricant. And then put the pump on and make sure it slides onto the dowels nice and easy and you don't lose those O-rings just like that. And then I'm gonna tighten all these fasteners on the top and the bottom to 10 Newton meters. Now slide the spline drive over the shaft for the water pump and the oil pump. Attach the three snap rings there's one, there's two, and there's three. And then put the motor mount in. The top fasteners get torqued down to 40 newton meters and the bottom get torqued down to 25. For the one that was hard to reach, I just uh, did it as best as I could. I couldn't get a torque wrench in there though. And then put the oil pipe back on and tighten these fasteners down to 10 newton meters. And then after that, you put the oil pipe going to the oil cooler back on and you're good to go. And now I can finally put the motor back in my car. So I'm very excited to share that with you. And next time you're under your car, be sure to check that shaft. There might be a lot more play than you think. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And until next time, thanks.